So what is Silverstack LT for H.264? Well, POM4 software solutions are used worldwide by DITs and data wranglers on film sets with high-end digital film cameras such as the Arri Alexa or the RED cameras. Then we thought how great would it be if we can provide features for professional media management to independent DSLR users as well. Silverstack is based on a comprehensive clip library that collects all available information over the time of your project. When you start Silverstack LT you see an overview of the registered clips and on the left hand side you can manage and organize these clips in shooting days, scenes, etc. In this example we are in the middle of a small project with lots of material already being shot. Clips are stored with preview images in the clip library and here I already see ratings and annotations I made earlier, as well as metadata read from the clips such as ASA and F-stop. But for now let's look at the typical Silverstack LT offloading workflow. We are having an SD card with clips from a Canon DSLR camera here. Silverstack automatically detects the type of files and displays all found files and metadata. I'm able to select just a few clips for offloading, but usually I will want to back up all clips of that card. Silverstack can copy simultaneously on two or even more destination volumes. We will copy material on the internal hard drive as well as to an external drive in our example. In this case, this makes two copies, which always should be the minimum for a safe backup. Now Silverstack starts copying. During this process, Silverstack reads all the metadata from the files and puts them into clip library together with the preview images. The files are verified after the copying process with a checksum algorithm, so I don't have to worry if copying is incomplete or contains errors, as long as it's reported as successful in Silverstack. As I now have successfully created the two copies of the material, I'm now safe to eject the card so that it can be reused for shooting. Now you want to review the shot material, so let's switch to Silverstack LT's player. The timeline shows preview images and gives quick access to all the clips. To further organize your material, you can now annotate the clips, for example, with ratings and comments. The cool thing is that this information now adds up to your project clip library and is available, for example, in the project search. So when we search for clips with lemons here, we will find all clips tagged with lemon. You can also create smart folders that include live search, for example, for very good ratings. The perhaps most powerful aspect of Silverstack LT is that this clip library provides access to all information without the need of direct access to your media files and disks. And as long as at least one copy of a clip is attached to my computer, I can playback the clips in Silverstack's player. Now we are ready for editing and want to bring our best rated takes to for example Final Cut Pro 10. Therefore Silverstack LT already supports Final Cut Pro 10's XML exchange format. I select the clips, choose transfer options and send this information directly to Final Cut. Here you see all the information we saw in Silverstack earlier as keywords and you will find comments and ratings as well as basic metadata such as ASA and Whitepoint for the selected clips from Silverstack LT. Silverstack currently supports the transfer of information for XLR numbers, XML for Final Cut Pro 7 and 10, as well as ALE for Avid Media Composer. What you saw was a brief introduction to Silverstack LT and its useful capabilities for your film project. Lots of your practical tasks are supported and assisted by Silverstack LT, such as offloading with multiple copies and automated file checks, organization of your entire project in one clip library, quick access to all of your clips in a powerful player, transfer of clips and information to other software tools. There is much more to discover, so please check out our 14 days trial at pomfort.com. For Pomfort, I'm Patrick Renner. Thanks for watching.